Complete training is available at ITDVDs.com. 64-bit operating systems are becoming more and more common with our desktop computers. Now, as far as Microsoft is concerned, we are first introduced to the 64-bit operating system for the desktop with Windows XP 64-bit. And then it became even more common with Windows Vista. And now with Windows 7, it's even becoming more common because the amount of memory that's coming with a lot of desktops we purchased is more than 4 gigs. We can have 6 gigs or even 8 gigs or even much higher with Windows 7. And pretty much all of the processors that are put out now are 64-bit compatible processors. So realistically, I would imagine with the next iteration of the Windows desktop operating system, there probably won't even be a 32-bit OS available for it. It'll just be straight 64-bit, and that's the way the servers are going. Uh, Windows 2008 R2 is only 64-bit. So what is the difference between a 32-bit operating system and a 64-bit operating system? Well, it has to do with the processor, first of all, that's in your desktop. It has to be 64-bit capable to run a 64-bit operating system. And when you put a 64-bit operating system on top of a processor that is, can handle a 64-bit operating system, you can actually view and see and handle more memory on your desktop. So with a 32-bit operating system, you're actually locked in to 4 gigs. So that's the maximum amount of memory you can have. And even with our server operating systems, when we are using 32-bit operating systems like Windows 2000 or Windows 2003 32-bit, we were locked in at 4 gigs as well. Now there was a little workaround there where we could do a PAE switch in the boot.ini file and that allowed us to get up to 8 gigs of memory on a 32-bit operating system. But with a 64-bit operating system, we virtually have uh, an unlimited amount of memory. I mean, it's, it's so large that we're not going to hit it anytime soon. I can say that with all confidence, especially as far as desktops are concerned. Now the other advantage of a 64-bit operating system is you can move more data at one time. So that allow, actually allows you to move data faster. So if you're copying uh, files or things like that, you might see a little bit of an improvement. Now realistically, if you're just copying small files, you're not going to see a whole lot of improvement. But if you're copying large files, then you will see a little bit more throughput when you're copying. Now chances are you're going to hit a different bottleneck with your disk something like that but the throughput actually increases a bit and we see this advantage more in our server operating systems particularly our database operate our database programs like SQL Server that deal with large amounts of data and also a 64-bit operating system can handle larger data types so actually 64-bit data types now most of the time that's not going to affect us too much because 32-bit uh, data types are fairly precise uh, when we get into large mathematical computations, uh, then that's where you see 32-bit data types not being good enough or precise enough, so we have to move to 64-bit data types. So that's the main difference between 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, how do I tell what operating system I'm running? Am I running a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit? Well, if you're running Vista, you can actually just go to Computer, right-click on it, go to Properties, Go to System Type here, and you can see here I'm running a 64-bit operating system. If you're running a 32-bit operating system, it would say 32-bit. On Windows XP, which is what I'm on now, you just go to the Start menu, My Computer, right-click, go to Properties. And up here under Microsoft Windows XP, if you're running a 64-bit version, it will actually say X64 right here. If you don't see X64, then it's 32-bit. And if you're running Windows 7, like I am here, you access it the same way you did with Windows Vista. You just right-click on Computer, go to Properties, and here under System Type, you can see it says 64-bit operating system. If it was 32-bit, it would say 32-bit. 